Hello, Moto. Welcome to Provider Vlogs. Yeah, thank you. I'm not a professional, but uh, I have completed 32k on this bike. So I think I'm in a position to give at least an ownership review. And I've also uh, ridden Jixer SF F5. I sometimes uh, take it for long distances from Coimbatore to Bangalore and back. Okay, so um, it's been 18 months with this machine and I've covered around 32,000 kilometers. Yeah, to be really honest with you, uh, when my bike was new, I did not like it. Uh, 32,000 30, kilometers later, I, I can just say that it's aged you know, gracefully and uh, it, it feels and it performs better now than before. And I, I also want to tell you that, you know, when, when I got this bike, uh, I had, uh, it's from one of the initial batches and it had a carburetor issue. I, I'm pretty sure most of you guys who own a bike from the first set are aware, aware of this. So what happens is, um, when you rev the bike between 5000 to 6000 RPM, uh, you feel as though the throttle is cut. Even though the fuel, even, even if you have a full uh, tank, it's still, it kind of, you know, it, it coughs for air or fuel, something like that. And that was kind of annoying. And uh, my experience with Honda initially was not good. I got this bike in Coimbatore. And for the first, uh, I guess, 2,000 kilometers had that issue. Then I, I gave it for my second service, around 2,000, 3,000 kilometers. And they told me that it's normal in every bike. And once you complete your third service, it's going to be all right. Then I gave it uh, for my third service and they tuned the carburetor. They did some crap and the issue was still there. And they said it's normal. Mm -hmm. Now, having spent one lakh for the bike, uh, that's not really a good feeling. Because it, every time you reach, you know, somewhere between 60 to 70, the throttle is cut off. And I wasn't a happy user at all. Then, like, you know, fortunately, I, I got my car replaced on a warranty. Or it, it was some issue with the needle jet. So that's the only concern I've ever had with Hornet. And as I pile more kilometers, uh, I mean, right now, it's it's smoother than it was ever before. And uh, apart from that, I've changed uh, chain sprocket a couple of times and the usual servicing. Spark plug maybe three times and the air filter. Uh, no other concerns apart from that. Please okay, the, the stock the stock MRF tires that came with this bike. Um, if you are a frequent highway, like if you if you travel a lot in the highway, uh, they're pretty good. It has good uh, top speed uh, and yeah, top speed stability. And on straight roads, it's good. But even on the straight roads, I'm not talking about uh, like a steep corners here. On, on straight roads, even there's a slight uh, bend or a slight curve, uh, you you lack the confidence. That is an issue with the stock tires. That's because it's uh, hard rubber and the tires are like flat profile. Um, and I've never had any punctures uh, for 30,000 kilometers. I've also used a gel, uh, but even then, I've, I've never had any uh, punctures. It, it, it lasted for uh, 32,000 kilometers. Tires were still like not in a bad condition, it was pretty good. I could have used it for 5,000 more, but I had them changed because I am like, you know, tired of uh, uh, the grip. Mm -hmm. The grip wasn't good in like muddy roads or when you have corners, it, it wasn't good. So I changed to Pirelli Diablo Rosso 2. And trust me guys, after changing the tires, this handles much, much better. It handles like way better than it's ever handled before. And uh, and it's a 150 bar 60 section rate. Uh, we have two bikes here. I mean, technically, uh, Jixer is, I mean, they, they use the same engine, SF and FI. But uh, I've, I've uh, been on Jixer SF FI for uh, many long rides and uh, let me, let me start with the positives of uh, this machine here, Jixxer SF5. So one thing I've noticed is uh, the engine is really refined. Um, 
and it picks up speed really I'm not sure it's kind of fast smooth when you compare Hornet you initially don't feel the power from after 5200 rpm is when you actually feel the the torque or the power kicking in until then it's kind of uh, you know it's it's laggy whereas when you when you see Jigsaw yeah. SF FI right from the first gear right from like low rpm as, as low as uh, 3000 or 4000 rpm you have ample amount of power and it accelerates quite smooth so uh, that is something where you have to give credit to Suzuki they they have a really good engine with the Jigsaw now mid end on Hornet is pretty good uh, when I say mid end I'm talking about uh, 6000 to 7500 8000 rpm uh, that is strong on the Hornet so in flat out acceleration um, and I'm pretty sure we'll do the uh, tests later, but uh, I think Jigsaw will be faster than uh, Hornet. Um, however, when it comes to top speed, although FI gets to 130 really fast, uh, if you have a longer stretch of road and if you're lucky with the wind blast, uh, because of the higher RPM in the Hornet, 11k RPM, I think it it can cross 130 km per hour. Uh, I've just crossed twice in my life. I've covered 32,000, and I've crossed 130 only in two occasions. Normally. I would say it, it, it's around 125 km per hour. That's the top speed. Now coming to the negatives uh, of Jigsaw SFFI, um, I really cannot find of, uh, any. Um, I haven't uh, faced any issues with the bike which I've ridden. Uh, it does vibrate a bit uh, post 120, uh, whereas Hornet, uh, the vibrations are well contained in Hornet uh, around the 120 km per hour mark. All right, so uh, regarding the issues, once again, uh, the, the fairing vibrates uh, when you're doing 120. 125 km per hour. Um, not a major concern, but you know, slight, slight vibrations, and the mirrors also tend to vibrate. I can't really say that's a major uh, issue with this bike. Uh, it's just you, you can ignore it. It's just slight uh, rattling in the fairing. Uh, way, way lesser than uh, Bajaj bikes like RS200. And <clears throat> apart from that, I, I can't really find any issues with this bike. Maybe if I nitpick, I can say. The headlamp, the throw is uh, poor. Uh, it has the lowest intensity in the segment. Uh, I used to think Hornet's head headlamp is bad, but this is even poorer. Uh, I think you know we can live with the pillion seat. It's pretty, it's decent for me. It's okay. Uh, I can't really complain of the pillion seat as well. Um, apart from that, uh, I've heard of uh, engine oil leakage, but I haven't uh, faced that issue with this particular bike. Not not this, but I, my friend owns an FI which I regularly use, so I haven't uh, felt that. Um, the brakes are okay, it has uh, good feedback but lacks the bite, initial bite is a bit no, not so good and the rear, rear brake is a bit spongy.